back to it. Okay, things I've learned since I've read into this game now. Just untangle these wires. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, I need to grind. There's number one. Number two, I need to get rid of the bow. The bow, the bow needs to go. Because it's having a detrimental effect on my, uh, on my magic caster. Which is really dumb. Why is that a thing? So I'm just going to buy a really basic weapon to swap it out. Yeah, just take a short sword. Cool. Oh, I could have... Fuck, I just wasted money. Oh, well. You. Sword. Do I have a shield for you? I my cow has armor. Let's go get you a shield as well. I need to sell some stuff soon as well because my inventory is getting full. I could do it with helmets as well. Do you have helmets? I need to take Mingwu's stuff at some point as well. What is this arm? So what? Uh, yep. So what? Uh, yep. So what? Uh, yep. So what? Uh, so what? Uh, apparently the key items never disappear and uh, that really starts fucking with your inventory after a while as well. What is that? What if that's the arm? Because it's definitely not the shield. Let's find out. You are the arm, okay. Right, give me these then. Right, that's me having sorted all that shit out. Okay, here's the next fun part. Uh, so, there's a glitch that I can boost my weapon proficiency in a fight without really trying. Another ridiculous part is that prolonging the fight is key, and I guess I didn't really understand what that meant per se, but what it actually means is that I should get into a fight, reduce my health to like 10, and then just keep winning fights with 10 health. Also, there are rows in this game, they're just completely pointless because you want- Oh! And there's another glitch. Enemies will target the middle two people more than anybody else, which is the reason why Norman's not got a lot of health, because for some reason the game is programmed to only target the people in the middle. So technically speaking, I guess on, a, on one level, I could put Ming Wu in the middle to tank a lot of hits, but then my characters won't get any HP, so it's one of them. So, I actually kind of want a goblin. I think that's the other side of this as well is that enemies run away, so as much as I want to prolong certain fights, I can't. Uh, Ming Wu can't defend either, which sucks. Unless there's a button for it that I don't know. Another weird glitch is that it'll say two hits if you've got a shield in your hand, but the shield adds no damage, but the shield counts as a second hit. Oh, did you miss? You bitch. Uh, well, I did just save it. Let's let's do this. Don't don't kill each other, please. He's... Oh, 
Oh! Yeah, that's why I want health. I want the health going up big time. Also, Azuna. I need to train up Azuna. But I don't I don't have Azuna. But I need to get Azuna and then train it. I could actually do with using magic a lot right now. I need to boost ice more than anything else. Don't kill him. That's a little too low. I just really need to boost my health. What is happening? Why aren't you... Stop. Ice. There we go. Oh yeah, the, the 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 stats going down, that's something that eventually gets just removed from future games. It's just in this one, because fuck you, that's why. It's not a good mechanic. Like, at all. Army King does a lot of damage. This is another glitch. 
that counts. That counts as one. And a one. And a two. 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 I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that if you design this insanely weird system, I used it, uh, if you were to compare it to Skyrim, in Skyrim, I definitely uh, cheesed boosting the uh, sneak stat right at the start of the game. I, I think it does, there's some kind of bear or something right at the beginning, and if you just stay there for about, I think it's like half an hour or something, your sneak stat just goes through the fucking roof. And that makes loads of stuff later on easier. Oh, it boosted his strength. Oh, oh. Doing that boosted Norman's strength. Oh, boy. for magic doing that. I would assume not because uh, I guess that your MP has to drop a number for it to count. Which would make sense. I guess a good test would be to use fire instead.
Also, another thing I've learned is that my fourth party member doesn't join me until the last fucking dungeon. So I should just treat it as if I've only got three party members. It's kind of weird that you can name four characters, but you don't even get the last one until the end. Uh, magic, ice... Oh! Oh! Son of a bitch. I can cast all already. I don't need to expand it any further. Fuck! That changes everything. I knew there was a way of doing it, and now I know. I think that's also a glitch, actually. Using it on all. There's something about using it on all and experience that is also kind of messed up. Or it could be connected to damage. That was a good amount of damage. Riveting. Oh, 
We know what's gonna happen when it when they get hit with this fight. Oh boy. Wow, it's crazy that that actually fucking works. That is insane. Let's go stop at the inn again, because we need health. So I can hit people and get more health. I really hate the intelligence down shit. Essentially, uh, I need my magic caster to uh, to not use the attack thing because otherwise, but proficiency 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 I can't pronounce that word correctly at the moment in shield increases evasion, so I kind of do want that. Boy, that's boring. Uh...
five. No, you just keep using magic. Your ice needs to level up at some point. Okay, that's one.
Okay, you have sat. Don't know what X for is. Apparently, warp is broken in a fight. I think it's warp. I think you can use warp in a fight and it's absolutely broken. Oh, swap! Swap's the other one. If I use swap, I think I can boost my health by a lot. And then there's another one for uh, taking away MP. That's really broken too. Is it swap? Why is your MP- why is your MP like 7 now? What the fuck? Okay. Mingwu's MP vanished and I don't know why. It's like, this will cost you 3 MP. Alright, so why has he got no MP? What happened? Need, M need MP free. Just to be clear, it says free. get it now. So if I teach somebody else swap, I see. I understand now. So my feet are just do nothing. Oh, I see. Can I not guard? Also, I've also learned that you do get a map in this game. It's just later. Okay, so I get how swap works now. Swap is actually quite genius. And, ha and, ha and why it's completely broken. Uh... 
47. I could do with getting that to 2. Right, I think, I think I know what we're doing at this point. Also, there is one other thing I need to check. Let's just refill all the shit again. 213G. Fucking hell, you rip off nursing. I'm pretty comfortable going back to that dungeon again now. Is this it? Yes. There's a good chance I'm going to die here. But yes, this is it. This is where increasing battle speed uh, comes into play. So this is a glitch. This is a glitch as well. Obviously, I'm gonna die, so that's the end of that shit. I just wanted to see how strong we were, and the answer is very. I don't know which battle speed's faster. Let's change it to 8. Don't you run away from me, you coward! Yeah, I think Battle Speed 8 is the fastest. a little too fast. Maybe battle speed 7 will be enough. Alright, time to relearn what the hell magic is in each place so I can decide whether or not I need to actually stay here for a bit and get that magic. Also, my understanding... Oh, this place doesn't have a magic shop. But do you have better armor? You're just leather. Okay. That's fine by me. Uh, uh, I need the world map again. Yes, I don't need to go this way. I need to go this way. Thank you. 
Okay. in this tile. Need the boat. Thank you. 
Let's go. More strength, cool. Only stay and in soon. To boost Norman's health back up to full. I think we could do this dungeon. I think we could complete it. I think we fucked around enough to uh, to justify slamming for it now. Oh, interesting. So it's MP. MP's the MP's the thing that that costs the most and makes the inn super expensive. Okay, that's actually good to know. I could do it with more money. Gotta go north. See, I remember. Okay. Keep using ice. Thank you. 
Do that. You attack. You can tell that I've got way stronger than I was in the last time. And I only get stronger from here. I always forget that spot you at the top. Get out of my way! Move! Lady, please! Thank you. That's a... Uh... <sighs> right. I know what I'm doing here. We'll go back to the inn now, and then we'll go to the place where we need to go to, and then we'll work our way back to the bottom. It's kind of annoying, but... Again, our characters are stronger. How's our magic looking? I've been using ice a lot. Are we nearly done? 75. I wonder if that gets a point for every enemy it hits. That's probably how it works. No oh, perfect, a lot of enemies.
This is a good fight to train magic. Probably gonna go back to the inn because I've noticed that the MP for Xena has gone up. We could just do with ice leveling at least once before I fight the uh, turtle at the bottom. To be fair, Norman and Army King might be able to hurt him at this point.
Yeah, we'll head back, we'll heal. And then I think we'll get a brew at that point. Right, lots of HP there, good. Keep the proficiency coming. How are we looking on that, actually? Level 8. I think the maximum is 16, so I'm halfway there. But I think we're I think we've got enough for now. I don't think we need to get it higher. Yeah, 
Yeah, like I can <laughs> Norman can one shot soldiers now. Okay. Ah, ice is built up. That's good. Well, I didn't use ice in the last fight. Interesting. Got brew as well. Thank you. 
Go. Stupid helmets. At least you don't have fights on transport anymore. That was a very dumb decision in uh in the first game. Alright, let's save it. To be fair, that's also awesome in Final Fantasy Seven. Alright, let's work our way to the bottom. I guess I'll just attack. Yeah, because I can one-shot these folks now. Man, are the kings an absolute nutter! Yeah, this... Oh yeah, there's an item here! Rock is blocking. Okay. Do you want a canoe? Do you want a ring? That's something that I need. Okay. I just need to get to the bottom, and it should be a lot faster because my characters are overpowered now. Or they're overpowered enough to get through this place easy.
I wonder how long my newfound strength will carry me. It was the first one. Yeah, as you, as you might be able to see, my characters are now doing uh, 300 damage versus how it was yesterday. So, I should be a lot more powerful to handle everybody down here. I've changed up a lot of stuff to, uh, because I've done enough reading to know what I'm actually meant to be doing versus what I was at, what I was doing yesterday. Uh, I think it was the first door again. Sure was. I've utilized glitches, I've utilized money, inns, ma different types of magic. I've changed some weapons around because the bow is fucking useless. I've done a lot.
Let's go. All right, the turtle first. Good, more damage. We want that. We want to. We want to be hit. In the words, in the famous words of a grey fox, "Hurt me more, snake." Treasure box, you found war. Suddenly, monsters appeared. Hey, I wonder if I can do enough damage. You go first, what the fuck? Ah, I'm surviving you. Yeah? That's the main thing. You might as well heal me, I guess. Yeah. I should probably heal the Armor King. Yes, I can do damage to the turtle now. I'm that strong. Hell yeah. Wow, that was super easy. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Get fucked. Alright, we don't want to use any more magic now until we're, uh... Well, you can use Cure. Cure, cure Armor King. Oh, these are assholes, but we have magic now. Haha. -ha.
That definitely the blubber is. Alright, time to go kick this guy's ass. He's been begging for it. Ever since he got away the first time. So this is a... Um, I've also read into this, uh, the version I'm playing... Yeah, so the version... Good timing, Jeff. The, the, the version that I'm playing is the prototype version. Um, because apparently this game was never released on the Nintendo anywhere else aside from Japan. It became it was only in the Super it was a Super Nintendo where it became uh, where it was released again. So yeah, so this is the prototype. Right, we should be strong enough to kick this guy's ass. No one take my silver. Let's use fire. Let's mix it up. There we go, he's dead. It is my first playthrough, yeah. I had to grind. He's dead! That was easy. In the treasure box, you found silver! What about Shadow? What about Sonic? Right, we can leave now. Aha! But we don't have to walk out. Actually, speaking of which, let's use warp. I kind of want to give warp to me rather than Xena. Fuck it, Zena can have it. I'm uh, admittedly, I'm actually not a, not a fan of it so far. I'm liking the world and I'm liking the story, but I, I do think the leveling system sucks. But we'll see. I am also ill, so that is also affecting some of my judgment, admittedly. Because I get it, I get I get what the intention of the of the uh, the leveling system was. It's just not amazing. Get me out of here! Right, let's go this way. Yeah, I already have. That's the that's the entire reason I was able to just de demolish those two bosses is because I trained up a. Uh, I've trained up my two fighters to have level 8 attacks, but it just takes ages. It takes so long to do. Because it's just this. So 
So what's faster than doing this then? Because this is the one that I learned. This is the glitch. And this is what I've been doing. So what's uh, what's faster than doing this to boost strength, strength and uh, weapon proficiency? Uh, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm attacking but then cancelling my attack and what the game thinks I've done is committed to the attack which plus which adds a plus one to your uh, to your proficiency with the weapon and it boosts uh, weapon proficiency and strength if you do it a hundred times it's a guaranteed level I just do it 50 it's uh, but it's a, it's a glitch that's only in this version. It's boring doing it though. But I know about stuff like uh, boosting Toad. Um... Huh. Why couldn't you use magic? Yeah, I know the swap one, because uh, Ming Wu has it, and I misunderstood what the swap glitch was. Well, glitch. Uh, but yeah, when it gets swap, I can definitely see how that'll boost HP and MP very quickly. I just need to look I just need to teach it to the free party members. And there's another one. Osmos, or I don't know what it's called in this game, which also rips your MP apart. 9G6. <laughs> yeah. It's not surprising. I will spend the night. Because I do know that one of the aspects of this game, for some reason, is that bosses are not immune to things like Toad, except for, except I think for the Emperor, and even then, it's not all status effects. You can still kill him with something. I just don't know what. Uh, Joseph, wait, this might be the moment when Ming Wu leaves me. I'm gonna save it first. Because if it does, because if it is the point, I can take all of this shit. Let me save the game. Uh. Yeah, I do have a lot, I do have a lot of patience when it comes to when it comes to grinding. Because to be fair, like very recently, I did zombie genocide in Dead Rising. That took four hours of me just driving around in a circle. You know, I've still got I'm still capable of doing that. Right, let's talk to Joseph. Hey, up in here, there's a girl. Thank you. All right, the guy asked. Thank you. My daughter came back. Borgen took my daughter, and I had to lie to you. I am sorry. Nobody knows more than Sid about the airship. Warship is being made under the command of Dark Lord. It will soon be complete. The cave of Semite Force used to be a mine. Silver is still at being mined at the bottom. All right, well, I'll hand you the silver. Bring it back to Altia. Princess is waiting. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts on this? Okay. Do you like my canoe? Here you go. Right, well. Okay. Uh, 
See you later then. Bye. See ya. Could you? We're at an impasse. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Walk you straight out of town. You're not going any further, are you? You bitch. Pretty much every single game ever made. I am doing the Final Fantasies in order. So it's going to go one, two, I've already done one, this is two, at some point I'll do three, then four, four the after years, five, six, seven, Crisis Core, Dirge of Cerberus, uh, Remake, I don't think there's another Final Fantasy seven in there, I guess I could do Urgies to mix things up, uh, eight, which is my favourite Final Fantasy, nine, ten, ten two, I don't know how far I'm going to go into 10. I have defeated Penance in the past. I don't think I'm going to go up to that stage again. 10-2, which I'll try and get the 100%, but that requires beating Tremor, and I've never done that before. Uh, I'm not doing 11. Uh, I will do 12. I'll do 12-2. 12-2? Yeah, 12-2, like the, the PSP one, I think. I'll do... Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Advance, Advance 2, apparently Vagrant Story is in the Avalis series, so I guess at some point I'll do Vagrant Story. I will do 13, 13, 2, and Lightning Returns, and I'll do 15. I actually like 15. I don't like 13, though. I think 13 was really boring. Take that. I'm not thinking pure. You can leave that shit. I've got too many pures now. Uh, I need to just head back to base. So that's exactly what I'll do. You hire. Uh, 16. I think it'd be interesting. I'm not a fan of the whole um, use only one character through the game shit. I thought Remake, 7 Remake, was the way to go for Final Fantasy. You have an entire party, you can control your entire party. That works. Mix it with the way how Yakuza Like a Dragon works, where uh, you have an entire party and you can choose who's on your party. And that's it, Final Fantasy is fixed. I think Namora has turned Final Fantasy more like Kingdom Hearts, which I'm, uh, I'm torn about. It's very flashy, and it looks cool, and the shit you do looks cool, but at the same time, it's kind of not Final Fantasy. So I get that. I, I actually get that aspect. Right, let's get the, uh, let's go. Well, again, I love Kingdom Hearts. I think Kingdom Hearts is great. So I'm also biased on that front. I will take the ship back to base. I've never played Dragon Quest, so that's another one that I'll do eventually. I don't know when. Because there's a lot of Dragon Quests. Uh, I don't need to be here. I need to go back to the base. I need to go back to City 1. I'm fully aware that a lot, a lot of people are going to die in this game and a lot of towns are going to explode. I just... Don't know when. I think it's actually now.
Yeah, I read into the Star Wars thing that you mentioned as well. That was another thing that I looked into. And uh, yeah, the parallels are pretty uh, pretty high. Oh wait, no, I've got to go over the water. Which makes sense. Final Fantasy has Biggs and Wedge in every game, pretty much, after, uh, after 6. So it makes sense. Uh, Breath of Fire, I've done Breath of Fire 3. Breath of Fire 3 was really good. That was a very enjoyable game. I miss the peaceful days! Okay. I will say that I think the uh, I like I like the fact that this game has has characters actually telling you what's going on. That's definitely an improvement from Final Fantasy One, where you had to fucking guess. At least in this game, I know where I'm going. To me, for the sake of comparison, Final Fantasy 1 is similar to The Legend of Zelda, and then Final Fantasy 2 is similar to Zelda 2 in terms of how the game works and the differences. Zelda 2, you know where you're going, except not really. <laughs> in Zelda 2, you know where you're going, but like all the experience stuff has changed for like the worst. But then the first game is really vague, but you know how all your items work. It's it's a crazy difference. Hello. The Empire should be get also getting a great damage at this war. They are building the warship. Yeah, we know that. Hey, take this silver. Oh, silver. Please give it to Tobule at the weapon shop. Yes, I will. Let's go. Hey, man, get out my fucking path. I don't know, but it's a it's a good it's a good question, isn't it? Like, why did so many Nintendo dudes make a game and then make the second game different? Hey, I'm just an ordinary. Take my silver. Oh, silver! All right, I can make stronger weapons and armors now. Okay, you're gonna hand me one. You, you see new. Ah. Give me... Give me this. What an increase. You might as well take that. Uh... I don't need all of these. It's not enough anyway. Let's go. Hey! I am busy! Alright, see you later then. Okay, well, I've done that, so what's next? Presumably, Ming Wu is about to leave my team. You seem new. Uh. What have you got on you, actually? Wooden. Copper. The copper armor might be good. I'm taking that. Not having that. I'm, I'm taking that as well. Do I want that copper? 
Uh, there are no religious references in this game. Because stuff like the church that uh, you used to heal from in the first game, that's now just like an empty room with a statue in it. I had to look up what the statue does. I had a feeling it was revived, and it is. But there's no, uh, there's no, there's no religious imagery. Which was also a thing in Zelda 1 as well. Zelda 1 also had a load of religious imagery. And then in Zelda 2, they got rid of it all. So another, another thing that happened. I guess Nintendo were just like, Hey, you're getting too heavy on the Christianity here. Hey, what am I doing? Emperor should be upset that we took silver. Dark Lord was called back to Palakia from beginning in charge of building the warship. Our associate in Basuk found a secret path to the warship. Right, okay. Please destroy it, or at least delay the completion. Right, so that's that's where I've got to go next. I've got to go to Basuk. Alright. Let's keep going. Hey. Destroy the warship! Okay. I heard that the Princess of Finn gathered the rebellions. I came here to join. Yeah, I've definitely not seen anything religious in this game. Uh... See you later, Kingy. I liked Final Fantasy 1, but it was uh, definitely brutal. There's no way there's no other way of looking at it. That was a that was a very hard game for all the wrong reasons. My party was two fighters, a black mage, and a white mage. But by the end of the game, the black mage was also a warrior because they gave him its scalder. And he just became overpowered. So I just had three... I essentially had three fighters and, uh, and, a, and a white mage at the end. Well, Ming Wu, I guess you're still with me. Let's go to... Uh, let's go to... Basog, right? Let's open up the world map. Oh, I might need to take Sid's airship. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. I might have to take Sid's airship. Did I use haste? Um, um, yeah, I kind of want to say I did. Here's your money. No, surprisingly not. No battles on the canoe. Oh, you do? I've not I've not had any then, so I've got lucky. Oh, okay. I might be able to take Yeah, in Final Fantasy 1 you definitely do. In this game, I've not had any.
I guess I'll start building up warp. Uh, yeah. That'll be the version I play if I can get it. I prefer doing the originals first and then doing the remake after to see what happens. To see the changes. But I try and go for the originals as much as I can. The only time when there's no point in doing that is if it's just a graphical upgrade. I don't know what I'm playing after this though. I might play something like Bayonetta or something and just mix it up. Just go far into the future. Okay, so this is Bafsuk. Okay. I could do Alan Wake. I bought a lot of Steam games over the, uh, yesterday. That includes, that includes Alan Wake. Bayonet is very good. Hey! Rebellions, please blow the warship! They're talking to me now. You need a pass to get into the warship. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna assume these fucks will fight me. Find the Spire of Rebellions, disguising as a soldier of the Empires. Is it this guy? Look at him. Look at this guy. Oh, that's Borgen. Okay. Move it. Move it. Don't waste a second. Okay. That's Borgen. I'm being enslaved. I don't remember when Dark Lord was here. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. Where I got demolished. Okay, so one of these fuckers. Alright, let's uh let's save outside because I'm I'm gonna assume that one of these that they're gonna fight me. So let's go outside, save it, and then we'll start speaking to people. I named the Dark Lord in this game Chev Chelios. In honor of Crank. The Crank Duology. Hey, are you the guy? Wouldn't Sir Dark Lord be back yet? Oh, they don't find me. Interesting. Move, move! Everyone starts loafing under Captain Borgen. What about this guy all the way over here? What about you in the grass? Borgen is a fool! Okay. A lot of people hating on uh, Borgen right now. Oh, what magic's here, actually? What have you got? Beer. Beer. We can goof off! That Borgen is a fool! I didn't say that. You came to blow warship? I am the Rebellion. What a god, what, what a king. I am the Rebellion. There is a path to the warship here. Oh, Rebellions! I could not move while Dark Lord was here. Borgen is just a fool. What do you think of my canoe? Okay. Oh, he's gone! Ah, here we go. Oh, I've definitely heard this track before. I've definitely heard some kind of remaster of this track. Maybe from Dissidia? I don't know. Zombies! Uh... Uh, 
I think my understanding is that using cure magic on the undead works in this game. So I guess we'll find out. I can I one shot them anyway, but I don't know. The text went by too fast. I don't know. Just buy it. Cool. We won. That's not helpful. I already have long swords now. I've moved up and beyond. I, I wield silver now. Right, these clowns again. Do I have to be using warp on a uh, on really basic enemies first? That would make sense. I mean, do I have to be using warp on goblins until I level it up? We won! Let's go. Uh, is that... I just want to know if there's a chest somewhere in this particular building. I think the Dreadnought is a dungeon. So this should be two dungeons in a row. I think mine and the uh, Army King's evasion is pretty high as well because of the shield proficiency. Oh, you. Is there anything over here anyway? No. No secret items? How dare you. Yeah, I'd run away too. I keep wanting to use magic. I don't know why. You use this. Let's keep boosting ice magic. Which will obviously backfire on me at some point. That's another aspect as well that the game doesn't tell you. I need to be wearing like wizard robes. So at some point Xena's gonna swap to wizard robes. I just need them first, because you have to find them. And that will instantly make her uh, magic attack stronger. Get back here. 
The longbow? That's useless. Get bow get bows away from me. Oh, this is a big place. Damn it! I'm gonna go right. Take the cure, I'll leave pure. But pure does sell for a lot. Good shout, that would have been a dead end too. Okay. There's a door. Who built this place? It's me, the bastards behind the Spencer Mansion. strength. We want that. We want more damage. Oh, here's a gamer. What's he up to? Oh, it's the Dark Lord! It's completed. Think better and over to give up and surrender to the Empire. Alright, see you. Ha ha! Serves you right! Oh, see you later! Ripperino, we lost. How did Borgen beat me here? Anyway. Let's go this way. Ooh, a chest! I found the pass! I guess, I guess that gets me onto the Dreadnought. Let's go. 
I think in speedruns, you skip the paths and do something completely different. I don't know what you do different, but I think that's the case. So that you can have inventory space. Oh, that's you. Oh, that's how he beat me. He teleported here. Okay. What happens now, then? Are you free? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! The warship has been made! It's the end of the world! Go back to the princess in Altia. She might know the way to destroy the warship. The warship went to Poft. Oh no, it's Poft been absolutely fucked. I'm just going to get a, uh, another cup of tea. I'll be back in a sec.
for it, it? Back to it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So we're going to Poft, and there's a good chance that Poft has absolutely been destroyed. See the mighty Bigfoot. Thank you for bringing me the silver so I can make better weapons. You have to pay for them though. Motherfucker, you wouldn't even have the silver if it weren't for me. Just hand me three weapons, you absolute cheesecake. See you. Warship killed everyone! Holy shit! She did not fuck around telling us that information. Oh wow, there's really, literally, nobody walking around anymore. They are all actually gone, except for that little girl. Is anybody in here? Well, the shops are still active. Interested. I do want that silver axe. So it unlocks silver in every store. That's super useful. Huh. Let's go into the pub. Wow, holy shit, they all, uh, they all really are dead. Dude, do you not care that, like, everybody fucking dying around you? Nobody's in this pub anymore, it's just you. Sid, get it together, Sid. Yes, I'll take the boat, come on.
What about in here? Ouch! I'm hopeless. Yeah, it looks like everybody's dead here too. My... My daughter is dead. Holy fuck. You guys are still alive, right? Yeah, the stores are still fine. I know that at some point, uh, the towns themselves vanish. The warship attacked. Yep. I'm gonna go to somewhere that's a little bit happier than this place. But not my much. Also, they're probably dead. Let's save the game here before we go in. Kinda get the sneaky feel that shit's gonna go wrong. Hey, everybody's dead. I'm at that one if relocated, but there's nobody here. It's the blood sword. Oh, it's when I learned Cyclone. It's not the uh, warship. Okay. Hey, everyone's dead. Sid and Poft may know the weak point of the warship. The warship has attacked, but this place was safe. Mommy! Mommy! Destroy the warship or it'll kill us all! Please save us all! <laughs> Princess Gordon is missing! Yeah, because he's a coward, that's why. We will hold out till you come back. The warship attacked here, but this agitating point was safe. Citizens sheltered in here. Okay, so they must be around here somewhere. Oh, the warship has been completed. King is depressed that many had died of this war and now feeling worse. Can't we help? All living, all, all living things are born to die, but I was born to help those in pain. I must stay here. I will part from you now. Norman, please destroy the warship. Left Ming Wu. Okay. See, what did I say? I said it's too much of a job for you. Alright, get fucked. Why don't you do it, you asshole? The king is damaged mentally. It is unable to cure. Sid sacrificed everything for the airship. Everything. Honor, fame, glory, and family. Warship and airship both work on the same theory. Many has died by an attack of warship. Should we surrender to the Empire? No, you... Clown. Sid used to be a noble and righteous person. People can change. Right, I guess I'll go speak with Sid.
right, there's still an empty room. Anybody up here? Right, let's go to Sid. Oops. We are back down to three people, though. Which is fine. Back we go. Hey Sid, everybody's calling you an asshole now. Why? Airship needs the motive power from the sun blaze. Same with the warship. Guess I'll note that. Sunblaze is very difficult to control. Too much flame causes malfunction and eruption. Engine breakdown means a big explosion to a warship. Okay, what about you? Okay, I've learned the term Sunblaze. That means nothing to me. Uh, do I have the money for... No. Well, actually, yeah, I could sell a pure. And, it, and then I'd have enough money to buy the silver axe. And then that's done. Ah, fuck it, I'll get the silver weapons another time. So where am I going then? Oh, I've just got to head back to the... I've got to head back to the main town. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Apparently there is armor that I can get. Mithril armor.
Hey! That's not literal. Same mythical, I mean silver. Yes, I need to go back. Wait, what am I doing? Why did I just spend that money? Oh my god. Thanks to Ming Wu, the king is getting much better now. I have heard about the Sunblaze, the symbol of Kashion. It is still burning on the first floor, and Sunblaze does not light on an ordinary torch. We can destroy we can destroy warship with Sunblaze. Truly? Oh please, quick! Sid will take you there, but we don't know the way to take the flame from the Sunblaze. Sealed the door of Castle Cashion with magic. To open it, you need Jive. Okay. Only the members of the royal family of Cashion know where the Chine is. Alright.
I have heard that the door will open only with the sound of chime or voice of the family. And that chime is hidden deep in the cave of the snowfield. Oh no! Are you going there? You don't have to face us such danger if Gordon was here. Well, I can only wish you luck. Josef knows around there. He may help you. Okay, let's go speak with Josef. Right, back to the snow city. Let's boost some attacks a little bit more. Oh, I can't boost Armor King. Shit, I forgot about that. Joseph, I'm coming for you.
You need my snow ship to go to the cave of Snowfield. I hid it in the mine. It is behind the wall by a blue rock on the first floor. Now hurry up. Joseph joined. I know exactly where it is. Uh. Yeah, we've got to go all the way back to that fucking cave again. We can start boosting the strength again now that I've got a fourth pine and on the bottom. Okay, so Joseph's a monk. I, uh, I probably need to start boosting. Fire, don't I? I'm going to a fucking snow cave. Let's start boosting fire. Secret Papa Pig. Snowship is hidden in the head. Uh, I see. This might be a boss. In the treasure box, you found Snowship. Okay, no, it wasn't.
I will call it quits in a second for a couple hours. Once I get to the snow fields. That's me done for a couple hours or an hour or two. Uh, gonna get some food. So if you're watching, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in a few hours. See you later.